Today in this tutorial, we're going to learn about Facebook Messenger and how it can be used to communicate with your uh, members, your visitors while you're live and or if, even if you're offline. It can be used on your websites. It can be used in your Facebook uh, groups as well as your Facebook pages. We're going to go back to the gathering example um, and we learned a little bit earlier about the chat bot and Mark over here, but now we're going to talk a little bit about Facebook. All up, we're going to first start with going to the Gatherings Facebook page, and once we get to the, and that's the business page of the Gathering, we're going to go over to Settings, and the area that we want to focus on is initially Messaging, and by the way, if um, people contact my page privately, you want to just check that with the little pencil bar. Make sure the box is checked on. The only way you don't want this box to be checked on is if you've been put in Facebook jail. They said you've been sending out too many messages. And then in that case, and they, they put you in timeout for a minute. In that case, you want to make sure that that box is, mark, is not marked. But in all other cases, you want to always make sure that you're, you want to allow people to contact you um, so make sure this box is checked. All right. So once we go into messaging, there are different settings. And because we're going to be using a special software called mini chat, you may, you may not need to, you don't need to use all of these settings, but if you decide that you just want to use, um, what Facebook has to offer, you can um, create your own greetings that will show up as people um, engage with you or um, put in a request or message you. You can have what's called automated messaging. All right, so this would be the section where you would go up and you would set up generally your Facebook messaging. For us, we're going to, because we're going to be utilizing a special software called ManyChat that's also going to connect to your website and do all of these other cool things, then there are certain things that you will not to have on. It is up to you whether or not you want to do a greeting. A greeting allows you to welcome people to your Facebook page, whether or not they engage with you first or not. This is your messenger URL. So if someone wanted to send you a message or if you wanted to put this onto your website, um, or your marketing materials where someone can reach you via messenger, then this would be your URL. We're not going to worry about adding messenger to your website. You can if you're not going to utilize the mini chat software and this is the area by which you would do that, but you don't really necessarily have to worry about doing that now. Okay. Um, let me just make sure that that's off. And then the last thing we want to make sure that we check before we leave this page is that if you have someone other than yourself, if you have several moderators, you need to indicate here that the persons who you want to have access to the page, okay? And then you just need to make sure that they understand that you're giving them permission to send messages on behalf of your page. So this will be for your community managers, as well as your moderators and your admins. So that's it for the general messaging ses uh, section and setting up your um, connection to ManyChat. Then you're going to go over to advanced messaging. And under the advanced messaging, I normally make sure you have how you're going to respond. Do you want all your responses to be automated? Now, if you are a one-stop shop, you really don't have volunteer staff. You really don't have anybody to help you with this. And if you're a one-man shop, you might just want to do make all your responses all automated. Um, I normally advise clients to use responses are partially automated for some uh, with some support of people. So you're pretty safe there so that you can enter one of two ways. Now, in this case, you want to configure your mini chat. This particular client was already connected to mini chat. So they already show up here. Um, once you get connected to mini chat, um, mini chat will automatically show up in this particular area for you. This is a section that we are most um, concerned about, which is your 
protocol. You want to make sure that your protocol is always set to your primary receiver being ManyChat and your secondary receiver being your page inbox. And you can get to that from the drop down menu. Okay. All right. You whitelist your domain, the domain names. These are to make sure that Facebook, if they get messages from certain domains, that they will accept them. And that would, of course, you want to do the HTTP as well as the HTTPS version. And here we have um, ManyChat being whitelisted as well as the website church's name. So you want to always make sure that those are there. And the final thing on this page you want to check is the one-time notification. And that just means that if you want to send a message outside of the 24-hour period, you have to, Facebook has to approve that. Normally when you go through ManyChat, it happens right away. If you do this on your own and you, you're not a part of the ManyChat community, it may take a couple of days. All right, so that's pretty much it for this particular section. And now we're going to go back over to ManyChat. Okay, so now we're back on the ManyChat site. And this is where we're going to connect our ManyChat to our Facebook page. And then we're going, I'm going to show you briefly how the builder is set up behind the scenes in ManyChat. And then we're going to go back to Facebook and so you can see your final product. All right, now, because of privacy reasons, and I have several clients, I'm not able to do step-by-step -step to show you how to set up your um, Facebook page to ManyChat, but it is a very simple process. You can initially start off at the free level. However, a lot of the um, features that I'm, I'm going to share with you is at the pro level, and I think that level is like $10 a month. But this is definitely an essential software tool if you are having a problem of trying to figure out how to um, assimilate the persons who want to become members of your church via eChurch and they accept your call of invitation and so and you want to be able to connect with them right away. So this is a great way and a great tool and very economical tool to do that. I assure you the steps to sign up to this point are very, very simple. Um, and a link is in the course um, that allows you to have the discount. I am an affiliate of ManyChat, um, and I do have my link there for you to sign up in the course. So we're on the home section. We've signed up. We've connected our Facebook page to ManyChat, and now we're on the home page. Um, you can have several groups affiliated with this, several websites. You can have different Facebook group pages. You don't have to just have one. A lot of you have several um, ministries and you might have several Facebook community group communities. Each community can have its own messenger system. Okay, which is what I love about this program. Okay, so I'm not going to go into a long drawn out tutorial regarding ManyChat um, for the purposes of this course, um, but I will go into the tools that you will need to create and edit your actual messages. And that is the option called growth tool. And you will create these. There are templates that they have to offer you, um, different types, different structures. So there are templated items in here for you to be able to go in and review. We're going to use option number four. And it pretty much tells you if you're going, if you want to, them to send it to Messenger or if you want to use a checkbox. Okay. You can change your background. You can add images here. You can decide whether or not you want your images to be above the text or below. And you just use these boxes to go in and to enter any type of initial introductory information that you desire. Just click the next button and then they have pre-template actions so you know how to go step by step by step. This is where the area where you would edit any messages that you may have. You click on the edit button here. And these are triggers. And I do, if you go to my um, YouTube page at Glenda Boone, you will be able to see in detail where I do a full-blown tutorial on ManyChat. Okay, but for the purposes of this course, 
um, once they opt in, then you would they would give you a message, and this would be your message, and you simply click on, and you can edit. You can also incorporate here if uh, we have an image, but you can put new members information in this box if you wanted to use this specifically for joining. You could. So there are various ways, um, a variety of ways I should say, that you can utilize this tool to be able to communicate with visitors and to for persons who may be interested in joining your church. So that's a brief overview of ManyChat and how to connect it to Facebook. Um, and it is an excellent way for you to be able to um, onboard new members. The final thing I want to do is let you see how it looks on the actual website. All right, so we're back at the gathering and we click on our message and pop, there it is. Welcome, Glenda. Thank you for choosing the gathering as your place of worship today. Please feel free to use the message box below to ask a question, send a comment, or request to join our loving community. I would like to offer you some information about our church and be sure to join the gathering's Facebook group so that you can so that we can stay connected to one another. Thanks again and welcome to the gathering and it should be signed by the pastor. So they have some information. They are able to um, get a message from the pastor and if they have additional questions, they can also send you a chat. Where we have, there's a little bar over here to help them out, link to our website, join our community. So these are just different ways that we can stay engaged and try to go fishing and gather more disciples. All right. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.